You are watching Deer in Nature 9611. Please like, share, and subscribe. So today we have, I believe it's the mother deer that just gave birth that's back, and I have some scraps up there for her from dinner last night. Some potato and carrot peelings. Might even be some celery. She's enjoying that. As well, it is a wet and rainy day here in Canada. Ontario, Canada. And because it is wet and rainy, we have one of the mallard ducks back. Now, recently the mallard duck has been coming alone, which means that the male right now is sitting on the nest. It would be interesting if I get to see the ducklings. Maybe one day they'll bring them. I'm not sure, but at this point, we just have the female here by herself. And it is a cloudy, wet day. Nothing in the sky, except for clouds. And this duck will stay for a while and it'll dig up some worms and then take off. I did give it a little bit of grain, um, of, um, not grain, of corn, as uh, she doesn't eat much corn. She just eats a little bit, but she prefers the worms on the property. So far, we just seem to have the one duck and the one deer. I'm happy to say that my son was up yesterday and cut down the tree. So now we don't have to worry about the uh, dead tree falling down on anyone whether it's the deer, whether it's my cat or myself. So we just left a large stump up there so we can hang on to it when we're going up. And it is solid, so it'll be a number of years before it rots to the ground, which is fine. It is lightly sprinkling rain, nothing heavy at the moment. We've been getting a lot of rain here. It hasn't caused any major problems. It's not in buckets or anything, but every single day we receive rain. So, makes it for dampness for sure. Hopefully we start getting some sun. Although we also just moved the apple tree that was up in the bush area. My son had indicated that I planted it in the wrong location a couple of years ago. And so now we have it planted on the front lawn, just back from where the duck is. And uh, hopefully it continues to grow into a nice big apple tree. And that will be apples for everyone, myself and the deer and any other creatures or animals that come to get some apples. I'm not sure what other animals eat the apples, but for sure. <clears throat> we like nature to take care of itself, so we planted some, a tree. We had planted it in the wrong place, unfortunately. <laughs> My son knows best and I didn't. I planted it where I could watch them day and night from the bedroom window. And my son said it's too shady there and it hasn't grown very much. So let's hope it takes root and doesn't die off on me or we'll have to get another one. So the duck is now content. He's had a couple of um, some corn and he'll just uh, sit there for a while, decide if any worms come up or whatever else he does on the property. I'm not quite sure, but uh, He's a regular guest now. <clears throat> and the mother deer comes periodically to get some food. I'm really, really hoping to see her baby, but at this point, uh, she has not given me access to that. 
so it will be a matter of another few weeks hopefully we will eventually see the baby they don't keep them hidden forever once they're about a month old the baby will appear with the mother that way the baby is strong enough to run away from predators and the mother feels safe right now the baby's buried in a bush somewhere waiting for mother to come back to feed her some milk So I'm glad this particular deer got the food so that she can return home with a full milk and uh, provide it for her baby. The bugs have seemed to have settled down a bit. Uh, we had a lot of um, dragonflies. I was trying to think of the name of them. We have a lot, we've had a lot of dragonflies come through and that's what normally takes away all the bugs. So hopefully the, the black flies are gone for the season as I'm not really used to two and a half weeks of black flies. I'm normally used to a, a long a weekend, three or four days, and then they're gone. <coughs> But we were low on dragonflies this year, but they have seemed to have come out now. So it is cold, a little bit chilly and a little bit damp. And so the black flies should be in full patrol here, but they're not. So that means hopefully they're gone for the season. I don't normally get them all summer. I normally can enjoy my property and even go into the bush without bugs. The dragonflies seem to eat the mosquitoes and everything. It's wonderful. It is not wonderful for the last two and a half weeks and it wasn't good for the deer either. They had trouble with the black flies and the, the deer flies and the whatever horse flies. There was some quite large flies flying around which made it very uncomfortable for everyone. I was covered in blood around my neckline going up in the bush. People said, what happened to you? Those were the, those were the black flies. They bit me. So we're glad they're gone. And so are the deer. This mother deer is quite content eating every single thing I left up there. She doesn't seem to be picky like some of the other deer. She's like, I just want nutrients for my baby and I'll eat it all. I guess she's getting full.
You are watching Deer in Nature 9611. Please like, share, and subscribe. And tell your friends if you enjoy this content.